Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, my name is Bill and I've got a Chevy 2500 uh, HD 2001 uh, car wash and my antenna got busted off. Been there a million times, had no idea that that was gonna happen. And I've been looking on YouTube and I find that uh, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube, but they all involve taking out the dash and fishing your hand around down in here it's really easy to deal with this situation. Uh, a lot of guys have posted this already, but the problem is, is that there's a, a plastic cap that fits over um, the fitting where I'm gonna put the new adapter on. And a lot of guys have been saying they've been cutting it off with a mat knife and all that, but it's kind of small and that's kind of sketchy. I think what's gonna happen is um, you're gonna end up cutting yourself or scratching the car more than it's already scratched. So what I've done is, I got myself a heat gun, and I've just been literally, let me uh, put the phone somewhere, hold on. There we go. I've literally just been heating up this plastic cap with my heat gun kind of taking my time. And with my uh, channel locks there, it's getting uh, pretty soft and malleable, and it's going to pop right off. I'm making sure that it doesn't get so hot that it's gonna melt the antenna cable that it's plugged into, right? I found a simple fix so you don't have to take anything apart. All you have to do is buy this little splicer. It's 20 bucks on Amazon and you're good to go. All right, so let's see how that worked out. Oh yeah, much easier. It's coming right up. Anyway, I'll show you the results when I'm done and I'll post a leak for the part number below. Thank you, stand by. Okay, update. Um, that little rubber piece or plastic piece did not want to come off. I use line cutters, channel locks, mat knife, heat gun, and finally I just got my angle grinder, lightly touching it, took it right off like butter, and at the same time at night made a nice smooth contact. Essentially, the piece I bought when I post in the links is just a little uh, sleeve that fits right over this with a little Allen set crew, Allen set screw, and you can basically um, at, uh, throw on either a six millimeter or seven millimeter uh, antenna stud, depending on what year you have. I believe this is going to be a six millimeter. I put the extension on, and there's going to be a six millimeter, and that new antenna will screw right into it. The plastic antenna that I bought, a little short rubber one, um, that has an option for six millimeter and seven millimeter. I forgot to mention that there's three seven millimeter bolts in there. And I thought that I was gonna have to move the whole panel here, but there's just a little cap that fits over. Be careful when you pull it out because I broke one of the little clips that's very hard to see when it's on. Other than that, uh, I'll post a link in the comments below for the part and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, have a great day.